Hi, this is Steve Harris with MuseThemes.com. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the motion scroll effects in Adobe Muse to create an opening door for your website. This is kind of a unique technique that allows you to present a simple, kind of strong introduction to your website, kind of reminiscent of the landing page days on the web, however without the obvious downside to users having to actually click in the site to learn more. You simply scroll down and your doors open and reveals the content below. And in this case, I'm using the picture of the mountains, of course, to represent my site content. So let's get started and I'll show you how to build this quickly in Muse. The first thing we'll do on a blank Muse page here is just make sure you've got some space for the scroll effects to work. So to do that, I'm going to drag the bottom of the page down and give us a little bit of room. We'll say about 1500 pixels. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull the upper guide up to the top and make sure that we're actually working from the top of the page. That helps a little bit when we're setting the key position for our parallax scrolling effects. Now I'm going to drop in that picture of the mountains in the background and to do that we'll use a browser fill. So if I click on the browser fill option, select an image to fill it and select the mountains, you can see it automatically fills it in. Uh, I'm going to set the fitting to scale to fill. I'm just going to set the position to center for now just because I like that part of the image. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on motion scroll for this. And the reason I want to turn on motion scroll is because I'd like the image to stay static in the same position. So if I turn on motion scroll and I just make sure to set everything to zero, that should do it. Now if I preview this page in the browser, you'll see what I mean. We've got the image in the background, and as I scroll down, you're not actually seeing any scrolling. It's just kind of staying in the same place. Next, let's add our doors. So to build the doors, what we need to do is just create a couple of rectangles. So we'll take our rectangle tool and use, and I'm going to draw just some big rectangles. And let's make sure that we kind of snap them to the center of the site. You should notice when you hit the center, you'll feel kind of this click, and there's a red line on the, on the right side of this box. So that's obviously in the center. I'm going to drop the stroke to zero and I'm just going to fill it with black. There. Now you noticed I dragged it quite far off the left side here. That's because I'm not actually going to have this span the full width of the browser, but I need to make sure on wider displays that it's covering the left and right sides of the site. So we'll just drag it out a little bit. That should be good. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this box. So let's just copy it over and I'll just align it to the other side. There. Now what we need to do is apply our parallax scrolling effects to this. So let's click on the leftmost box and we'll click on our scroll effects and we need to turn on motion. Now we don't need to worry about the initial motion because we're actually going to set the effects to start right at the top of the site. So any initial motion we set you won't even see. So I'm just going to set those to zero for the sake of not seeing any numbers in there. Now for the key position, let's set this to zero as well. And what that means is it's going to start its transition or its motion right at the top of the website or right when you begin scrolling. Now the final motion is what we're going to need to pay attention to here. Once I begin scrolling, I do not want these doors to move down. Let's set that to zero. So this is the vertical motion. But what I do want them to do is move horizontally to the left and to the right. So the, I've selected the leftmost box in this case. So let's make sure we have, or we set the motion in this case to move left and we'll set it fairly dramatic. So we'll go three times. Now to apply the same effect to the other side, the easiest way to do that is to make sure you've got your graphics styles panel open and let's just create a new style. I won't even give it a name for now. It's just called style. And if we click on the right side, let's apply that same style. The only things we need to do in this case is we need to make sure the key position again is set to zero and that our style is going to move right on this side, not to the left. There. Now that I've applied those two motion scroll effects, let's preview this page in the browser and see how it looks. So you can see we've got a little bit of space at the bottom here and this is just due to the size I drew the boxes, but let's check how the motion looks. So as I scroll down you can see that the boxes are indeed pulling to the left and to the right. So it looks quite good at the moment. So let's jump back to Muse. And the first thing I'll do is fix the size of those boxes. So I'm just going to click on them and just drag them down a little bit more. There. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drop in that logo. Um, so we'll click File and Place. 
and let's just select the logo, click open. Now I'll click anywhere to just drop it onto the canvas and I'm going to make sure to center it over those two boxes so it kind of snaps to the center here. Now what we need to do is duplicate this logo and we need to crop it to just the left and the right side. So I'll click the crop tool at the top and let's crop this one down to the left. Now that this one is cropped to the left, let's select the one above and let's crop this to the right there. Now that those have been cropped, we can simply move them up together again so they're aligned. And now we've got two pieces that can pull apart. And again, we're going to apply the same parallax effect. So let's simply apply the style, reset the key position, and just make sure that we have them moving in the right direction. In this case, this one is going to move left, so that's perfect. This one, we'll apply the style, set the key position, and let's just click right. There, that's it. Now let's preview the page in the browser, scroll down, and you can see the door opens nicely with the logo. And you may want to put some text below here just instructing users what's going to happen, but that's it. I hope you like this effect. It's quite cool and quite unique, and I think it presents a strong introduction to your website. Give it a shot, and if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to send us a line. Cheers.